me again, Terrence Lewis with Lewis Helps, aka Mr. Fix It. Now I'm just playing, I just found this hat. But listen, it works perfectly for what we've got going on. Our rehab properties, so if you're looking for a place to find information about how to rehab homes, funding, build your financial future, this is the spot for you. So don't forget to like, subscribe. But enough about me, this video is about getting funding for your flip and how to get your money right back out. I'm gonna show you how right now, we're gonna walk into this property, crack the dungeon on this baby, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get that done. Coming up, right now. All right guys, so we're in San Bernardino, California. I'm at one of my rehab projects. We rehab about four to six properties a month. Now this project right here is a good property. We just got done demoing this home. Um, and I want to show you guys inside for a little bit. I'm going to uh, take you into my office. I know a lot of people have offices where they train you guys how to do these videos. This is my office. So I'm going to take you inside my office. I'm going to uh, literally write on the walls and show you guys uh, exactly how we buy these flips, a little bit about the funding, and I'm going to show you guys how to get your money back out. Move on to flip number two and number three, or keep it as a rental, get your money out, and move on to the next project. So let's run in this property really quick and we'll show you guys around. Let's get right to the training. Let's go. All right, so we just got done with demo here. We've got a lot of plaster repair that we've got to do here. This video is not about the flips. If you want to see more uh, demo projects, if you want to see us in these properties, flipping these houses more, subscribe to the channel and look for more. But we've got uh, just a few things we're going to do here. Take a look in here. Um, bathrooms destroyed. <coughs> We're getting that all wrapped up and done. We'll be in and out of this property, believe it or not, in 20 days. Uh, bathroom demo. Um, we're in here. Uh, we just finished up the kitchen. And so uh, we've got a kitchen. We've got a little back house area. The house is horrible as well. Let me show you guys a little clip of that. And, uh, and that's it. It's a quick little two bedroom. There's another bedroom in the back, but we're not going to go there. Let's get to the training. You guys came here to find out how to get funding. So let me get to it. I've got a pin on me. And so this is my whiteboard. This is where we're going to do the training right here. So I'm going to show you guys some numbers and break down exactly how it is that we get funding for these deals. What are some of the sources for the funding and exactly how we get our money back out of these flips so that way we can continue to, even while we're in this property, currently flipping the property, I'm already working my process. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about timing. So you'll get the, 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 the lending information, you'll get the uh, strategy on how we pull it out, but you'll also get the know-how, exactly the timing of how and which to do so. So let me get right into it. Now for all intents and purposes, I'm going to uh, use a basic loan amount. And that's because I'm um, in Southern California, this piece of dump, believe it or not, $300,000 property. There are others that will have a house like this and it would be $50,000. So for all intents and purposes, we're gonna go ahead and use a $200,000 base loan amount. Now, the very first thing in this training that I wanna cover is the ARV, okay? ARV just stands for after repair value. Everything we do in real estate, rental or flipping, it's all about your ARV. All your numbers start with your after repair value. The reason why that is, because the second most important thing that this training is gonna cover is because everything is based upon 80% of that number, okay? So let's go through a quick little scenario so I can show you exactly what I mean. Now, in this example, we're gonna use a $200,000 loan amount, okay? So let's say we got a property and after we're done repairing the property, it's going to be worth $200,000. Where did I get that number from? Go look at my video on how to determine your ARV. But for a quick synopsis, you're basically going to take six most closest homes near this property that just sold in the last six months. We're going to find the average price per square footage those properties sold for. We're going to get that number and times it by this property square footage, which should give us our after repair value for this home. So after doing that, we determine that it's $200,000. The 80% of that would be $160,000 if my numbers are correct. Okay. So 
everything is revolved around this is this number here. So this is our magical number, okay? So what does that mean? That means our strategy needs to be consist of getting the property and all aspects of the money we dump into this house for under that that price, okay? So let's go through that really quick. So that would look like something like a hundred thousand dollars to purchase the property, okay? It's our purchase, okay? And then let's say we're at about thirty thousand dollars in repair costs, okay? So we got thirties in repair, okay? We would say there's going to be about another break, editor, break this. I'm looking at my notes. So now we took $30,000 for repairing this property. We got another $20,000 for holding and closing. Okay? So it costs us about $20,000 for holding and closing. We're at 150 right now. Now the other 10, we got $10,000. Now the $10,000 was the down payment that we used to get into this deal, okay? So now, simple numbers, we got $160,000 is what we've got here. So we've got the cost to buy the property, we've got the cost to repair the property, we've got the holding costs and closing costs, we've got our down payment, all came out to ding, 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 $160,000, our 80% mark, okay? So as long as we stay within that, now let's talk about timing really quick. As soon as I bought this property, I'm already structuring myself to refinance this property. A standard loan outside of a hard money lender is about a 30 day process. I'm gonna be in and out of this property in less than 30 days. So I'm already going through the process of starting it. So that way, once I'm about 30 or 45 days into this property, I can go ahead and refinance this property and pull the cash out. Now I get my repair costs back, my holding costs back, my down payment down, and what am I doing? I'm moving on to the next project. That keeps me below 80% of what the house is worth. So I have a net, I have a valuation in my property of about $40,000 worth of equity. I also have a loan for 160,000. So even if I'm keeping it as a rental, I'm in a very good position. Okay, so if I'm flipping and I'm gonna sell the property, I'm already gone because in your area, you might have homes that sit on the property on the market for 90 days, maybe longer, but now you're in a traditional loan because these loans, traditional loans, or home equity loan and credits, which are the vehicles that I prefer, are at a much lower interest rate, okay, than the hard money loans. Hard money loans are easier to get the distressed properties, but traditional and home equity loan and credits are where you want to pay, hold your properties. Okay, that segue, segues us into the type of lending properties that we have. So we talked about the timing. We talked about how we want to strategically time ourselves and to get out of this property. Right as even when we get into the property, we're already planning to strategically exit. It's called our exit strategy. So know going into the property, know what your exit strategy is going to be for that property and when it's going to be. So the last would be the type of lending options. Okay, so we got hard money or private or private money. So private money would be you and your partner, you put together a proposal and you go out and talk to investors or you talk to individuals with money, retirement plans, your daddy, whoever it is, to help you come up with the money to fund that deal. Now these are great because they're not uh, typically as expensive as hard money. But if you Google private money and hard money, there are plenty, plenty of resources on there. Their criteria are typically about 80% loan to value. Um, they typically don't go off of your credit score. You need to typically have a uh, LLC and they want you to put at least about 10% down of the uh, after repair value price, okay? And if you do that, um, having a good credit score is always helpful, but in these cases not needed. So that's why I tell people, if the deal makes sense, you don't have to worry about where the money's gonna come from, the money will find you. Put that deal in the environment, in the atmosphere, and that money will find a way to you. Okay. All right guys, so this is uh, this is the training. This is it right here. I hope this was helpful. I know this is some good information. If you need to rewind the video to really grasp it, just a synopsis, 
Again, you have your ARV, 80%. You want to make sure that all of your costs stay below the 80% mark. You've got hard money lenders. Timing-wise, you want to make sure that you're, you're planning your exit strategy based off of what you plan on doing, whether keeping the property or pulling money out or staying in that hard money lending, lender. Um, because you got to remember with these closing costs and these holding costs, um, it's you know you, you definitely want to break your cost down per day to realize what it's going to take you to be there. So you you're the only one that's going to be able to determine whether you should pull your money out of this flip and structure it a different type of way financially, or just keep it in the, the vehicle that it's in. Um, please for uh, for more questions, leave comments below. All right, guys, I'm here to answer any questions that you guys have, me and my team. So for all things real estate, don't forget to like, subscribe. This is Terrence Lewis with Lewis Helps. I'm out.